everybody, and welcome to another episode of KD8LDE Presents. My name is AJ, and here I'm bringing you the third part of the Remote Rig series. Uh, if you had followed my Google Plus, or now I'm back on Facebook, um, you will have known I had not had the time to make the video for tonight at all. Um, but I'm going to work on that, and I'm going to change it, and hopefully I'll have it up here in a, in a few hours. All right. Well, the topic of that I wanted to talk about was mobile applications. Everything you can do, pretty much, from your smartphone, anywhere, anytime, anyhow. Um, basically, what what Microbit has. Um, sorry, I'm a little sore today. Um, what Microbit has designed is an application for your smartphone, and if you do have a smartphone, you can run your remote rig or your radio for that matter, from your smartphone. Um, the one disclaimer I will put in here is that your, is that not your phone, but the application basically is in a beta. It is a demo version, so don't expect much functionality yet. Also, it has only been released for Kenwood Radio, so yes, I'm sorry, all the ICOM, Yezu, and Lcraft users, I'm sorry. You're going to be left out for right now, but that's out of my hands. Um, they're still releasing or trying to release that software for that radio type. But right now, um, you can go to their website. You can go to their the, the link for the Google Play Store, which you can download the software. It comes in two parts. It comes in the, the, the server, which is on there, and it comes in the Kenwood software, which will just be two tabs in the application that you will go to configure it and then use for the control. So, without any further ado, I will uh, show you what this software is. Uh, I will try to show you this the best that I can. I know this will be a very short video considering it's a demo and everything, but I will try to show you this on my phone um, that I have right here in front of me. I have the Samsung Note 2. Um, Android device, obviously. Um, I don't think this is going to work on iPhones at the moment, considering we're going to the Google Play Store, of course. So basically, on your phone, as you can see, there is this app here that says RRC Nano, and it has the K for the Kenwood. So when you start this up, whoa, <laughs> forgot to take out that. When you start this up, as you can see here, you will have all this information that you need to configure. Uh, you, I guess you can optionally put in your call sign, um, the password for the uh, for the SIP uh, for the SIP communication for the audio and the control, um, whatever you've designated that to be. Obviously, that's mine right there. Um, basically, from um, remote rig site, they basically say. Um, all the other stuff is defaulted, and it's on their page for um, the Nano that they call this, basically. So, when you have all this lovely stuff completed, and left all that to defaulted, um, you go to the next tab, which I will show you here. And this would be your radio control right here. And as you can see, it's very rudimentary. There's not a lot to it, so uh, you will hear stuff you can, yeah, you can communicate over your rig. When you do press the PTT, you can change the different uh, modes and modulations. It's, it'll, it'll work. I have tried it myself, and it will work. So if I can demonstrate, without giving away um, much here, let's see here what my... <laughs> I didn't want to give that out because that would be bad. Okay, I will activate mine. I'm going to put in the IP address for contacting my rig. And I will hit call, as you saw. And sometimes it's temperamental considering it's a demo. Do it right? Nope, I sure did it wrong. <laughs> of course. And of course, all this stuff is, is a static IP address. 
So you need a public, a static public IP address, or you can use the DDNS and also make sure that your ports are forwarded, the ports that you did see before you, the 13,000, uh, 13,001, 13,002, um, it will, it will matter, basically. Okay, now that I got that right, I will dazzle you now. Ah, and it says connected. You hear that? And it's connected. We are connected to my rig that is downtown, basically. And it uh, will look like that when you finally get it. So, you could do a little test. But the fact of the matter is, the only other thing that's really not 100% right with this yet is that we are not on the WWV at 10 megahertz at all. We are still on that one channel on 40 meters at uh, 7 megahertz, basically. It doesn't quite update yet. But I'm sure in the next couple versions that they will come out with that it will, it will be a lot better for Kenwood and all the other... Uh, radio users that they will have out there. But as you can hear, I'm connected in to my radio that's about 30 miles away from me. So that's what I mean by taking your HF station with you. As long as you do have the broadband, and I'm, and I'm doing this over wireless, no less, of course, um, it will work with um, Wi-Fi, and it work, will work over your cellular carrier, but of course, you don't want to rack up a big bill there. Here, I'll turn this off. And then just simply you hit hang up and you're good and uh, that's all there is really to it folks um, yeah I will make sure I put the link for the app um, down in the comments below so you can go and you can download it directly from the Play Store I'll leave all the information you know down below of course and that's that's about it. Um, I hope you did enjoy this. I hope you thought that was very informative. And if, as always, you know, like, uh, thumbs up, yeah, thumbs up, uh, this video, um, comment, favorite it, do all that great stuff. Let me know that you're out there. Let me know that you appreciated this. I appreciate doing this stuff. Um, it's, a, it's a great activity, uh, amateur radio is. Um, and until next time, I will try to get to the last part. And, of course, I'm going a little backwards for this, but um, there will be a part four, and I believe you may know what it is um, in configuring the radio, um, the radio box for the Kenwood radios. So until the next time, I will see you uh, in the next video. Bye.